got some tracks in the snow just here, guys. We're starting to see more and more. It's a little bit chilly. It's a long way off. And the gnarliest part of the valley. Oh, it's a big ball. Right on the bush edge. Got a ball. We fell this morning. Oh, I'm pretty excited, man, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. You? Mate, yeah, man. This little fella's pretty tight too. Hey, dog. <laughs> little bit of dog content, eh? You ready? Yeah, man. Pretty excited to get in the mountains today. It's a freaking day like this, man. Incredible, eh? We've come out of like storm after storm after storm, and now this is what we got. So. Storm after storm after lockdown. Yeah, but we're out of lockdown, and we can actually go and do some hunts. So we're freaking pumped. Are you pumped? Um, woo, 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 woo. Excited? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look how nice this weather is. It's stunning, eh? And we're gonna get in the mountains, and we're gonna be like, oh, it's freezing. <laughs> so we're here again. Just loaded the chopper. Just got everything in there. We're real excited to get out there in the mountains. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, guys. You guys know Scott. Pretty much fly with Scott all the time. You've seen his face around, he's familiar heli base for us, as you guys know. We can access some really good mountain country from here. Perfect place, man. So good. Past heli services. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Out there doing it with Jay Wilds, brought to you by your local hunting and fishing. Welcome to the mountains, we're back here. The usual story, he's home for the next week. It is cold. Oh, it's real windy too. I'm trying to decide where we're gonna put camp as the, the plan, guys. So welcome to the channel, if you're new. If you like good wilderness hunting content, make sure you stick around. Good to see you OGs back again. We've got another good mission on the cards this week. So for you new guys, I'm Joe, this is Catherine, my partner. Hello Kevin. Hello. Over here we've got my brother from Mother Mother, Joe Fluidy. If you've watched the channel you would have seen myself and Joe Fluidy. We've guided together, we've filmed together, we've made some cool productions. Joe's here for the whole season and we're going to make an epic hunting series for you guys to enjoy. What do you think man? Pretty sheltered. It's actually really sheltered. Look at, Look at the snow across here, eh? Oh. Well, that was out of bed, Make sure we've got enough room for two tents, but I don't know. We could probably get them in here, man. We'll be sheltered from this hill. As you guys can probably tell, we've got a pretty hefty wind coming down the mountain, straight at us. So we're trying to find a place that's tucked up against the edge of the like the bank, like this here, that's not wet and flat enough for tents. Alright, tent set up. Go. Tent set up, guys. Bling bag, Kathy. Yeah, I reckon, man. So good, those, those loops on the back of the bling bag, eh? Christmas and Nana's. <laughs> Bullets? Do you ring the bolt? What? Bolt? Oh, yeah. yeah, the bolt. You were meant to bring the bolt, man. <laughs> Brought along our solar charger again this time. Just like a night on the Cody's, eh? Hey. <laughs> Smooth operation. Tire beer stick and a view <laughs> to go with it. Order. Catherine and I just went down and got some camp order. I'm hungry. We'll get this lunch going and then next time we see you guys, we'll be hunting. Are you hungry, Catherine? This is going to be so good. What do you guys want? 
So when we were setting up the tents in the background you might have seen Catherine standing back over at the gear pile where Scott dropped us off. So it turns out she was standing there and just on the edge of the bush here, just below her, probably 30 metres below her, she heard a, what she said was a dog barking, big loud, Ooh. come back and told us, said oh, I think there's a dog up here, there won't be a dog here. So what that was is it must have been a deer after the helicopter left, made its way up to the edge here and was going to come out into the into the tops and Catherine was standing there. So Red Deer's alarm call sounds almost like a dog barking. I'll play a bit of audio now so you can hear it for yourself. but. Catherine said it was right below her and she, she freaked out because it was so close. Bit of deer sign around. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, eh? Right here, right where we were camping. Catherine was pretty excited anyway. I think it's quite cool. Nice bush, man. Real nice bush. Just going to head up to this point up here. Camp's just behind me. Have a quick look from there, see what I can see. Have a look at this view, man. Man, that's good. How nice does that look up there? Didn't see any animals, but it's the middle of the day. We're gonna start getting some gear ready. Head up that hill there. We're just gonna fill up our water bladders. This tarn's a little bit slimy, so it's good for our cooking water, but we're gonna filter it. We've got a little MSR filter, slime tasted. You know what slime tasting water? Yeah. These are filters we use in sort of stagnant water areas, places where the water just doesn't look as appealing as some of those nice running streams that we come across. Oh, we're ready to go. Super simple to use, just dunk that sucker right in the water, give it a squeeze. Joe is real good at pumping it, he's got a real strong wrist for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually dunked this into some pretty nasty looking water and just drunk out of it rather than filling up your bottles too, so it's pretty handy. Little MSR water filter, filter your water guys. And with that, that's this episode's field tip brought to you by your local hunting and fishing. I like to do this so I don't slosh around and scare everything away. Crystal clear. You never know what you find upstream from these little water catchments. The reason we want to filter our water here is there's a tar cull victim right next to our little tarn. It's sad to see, AJ. Eh, yeah, pretty rough. Pretty rough to see that. Poor little guy. Just a youngin. Ready to roll? Yeah, man. We're off on an adventure. Let's go. Wait. Put it there, man. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I think we've lost all fitness <laughs> from the lockdown. Yeah. <sighs> a few avalanches going down, guys. We can hear a big rumble every now and again on the opposite side of the valley. <sighs> Nearly at the top, guys. <laughs> Got some tracks in the snow just here, guys. Got some animal tracks here, Catherine. Yeah. Watch out, good. watch out. It's like five meters deep. Devastation crack. Don't fall down there, whatever you do. Cool. Animal tracks. Great. You must have been up here earlier then. <laughs> Joe's just seen a tar down here. Just feeding in the scrub. That one's brutal, eh? Yeah. Jackets are going on, guys. We're gonna sit here for a while and just see if anything else feeds out.
so it turns out it's a nanny and a kid. But we've just seen a young bull on the next face across. This time of year the bulls are mobbed up so there might be more with them. We're starting to see more and more tar. Evening setting in, you can see the sun going down behind me. It's freezing. <laughs> my hands are going numb. Hopefully, big ball soon. It's a little bit chilly. You reckon? Just a little bit. What else you got to say? Looking forward to dinner. Mmm. Yeah, me too. I can, I can hold the warm bowl in my hands. Yeah. Be nice to see a big ball though, eh? That nanny and her kid are still just here. Probably, what, 60 yards, 70 yards from <laughs> us right now? Crazy, eh? Yeah. There's got to be some bulls here, eh? Like, this scrub is so tight down here. Quite a few dead ones around, so helicopters have been through. If we see anything else exciting, we'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh. It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Morning guys, pretty cold, nice morning. Sleep, Catherine. With my eyes shut. <sighs> oh, that's good. Hopefully, it's not as windy as it was yesterday because that was horrible. Couldn't do as much filming as we wanted just because it would have been terrible audio for you guys. Morning coffees, guys, with a view like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone will come across this video and be like We're just gonna have a quick glass over here. Last night we were probably another 200 meters higher. This is a good little spot, so we'll have a glass from here, see if we can see any bulls, and then carry on up. Getting high now guys, pretty icy up here. All the snow's just got a thick layer of ice over it. It's gonna be pretty cool to look over the top up here. Get him to help me later. <laughs> 
It looks pretty good to see. It looks amazing. Seems like all the animals are hiding away in the scrubs, so we're going to use this opportunity to cook up some lunch. And once that afternoon sets in, there should be a bit of movement from animals, hopefully. There's quite a few prints in the snow up here, so it's definitely animals up here. And just down below us here is where we saw all those tar last night, but now we've got a couple more valleys we can look into. That's better. So today for lunch, Joe, we've carried up some corn chips. So good. He's a hero. Pretty much the best thing ever. Um, we're also going to have a go native meal each. Maybe a bit of tar salami from Catherine's Bull earlier in the season. Yeah, we'll have a good feed now because later on we might be full on stalking in on a bull hopefully. While they're all sleeping now is a good chance to have a feed. The tar salami from my bull might give us the power to find more bull tar. Hmm? <gasps> <That was it. laughs> mm. What are you going for Catherine? I'm gonna go chicken chickpea curry. Good hearty meals. Go native meals. They're not dehydrated. So they're a little heavier, but they're a good solid meal. Every time we go near a hunting and fishing, we normally pick up a couple of packets here and there. Did you guys bring your sunnies up? Nah, I didn't. <laughs> oh yes. I always get nervous when I put them in my bag that I might, might break them. That glare's pretty harsh off that snow. So I'm pretty stoked you got my sunnies today, guys. But all seriousness, how cool is this for a little lunch spot, eh? Oh, he amazing. just gave you shit. Catherine, your pants are poking through the bottom. Yeah, I just tried to fix it. Tell you what, I've been impressed with these wind burners though, eh? Yeah, they're designed to work in environments just like this. Been really impressed, eh? Acidomals. Yeah, I think I picked this up at um, Christchurch, Hunt Fish, way down this year. I was well due for one. At the start of the season, we had my big one, the 1.8. Joe was pretty keen to get a smaller one so we can cook out cups of tea and stuff like that while we're cooking our meals. You did. I think you did buy that at Christchurch, that one. Yeah. Christchurch hunting fishing. Start of the season, was it after our first hunt? Or first? No, it was before our first before hunt. Before our first hunt. Before we did that um, stag hunt where we got the stag from the top of the tree. And it's been actually really good having the two cookers, man. The big one mm. and then that smaller one. Yeah, especially for hot drinks and stuff. We're not using our precious water that we filtered. We're just melting snow. A little trick for you guys is always start off with a little bit of warm water in there and the snow melts a lot quicker. Did I leave my... Go native lunch with a view, can't complain with that man. Go for a look over this side of the ridge. Should have bought my crampons. That's one way to get down. <laughs> it's pretty icy. Go to have a look over here, right? Pretty nice country. A few tar prints around. Real gnarly and steep down there. I don't really want to go too close to that edge in all this icy snow. Catherine, I've got a big bull. I think he might be walking off to the left hand side. These guys have spotted a nice bull way across there. You can probably see them right there, guys. It's pretty heat hazy, it's a long way off. And the gnarliest part of the valley, classic. Pretty cool though, man, pretty cool. <sighs> Catherine's calling us over. What do you got, Catherine? It's a big bull. It's a big bull. Right on the bush edge, he's going that way though. We might not have that much time, so get ready now.
ready for action now. We've seen another tar over here and it looks like a big valley that we can't quite see from back there. So we're going to go over there and have a look down in there. Hopefully there's a bull in there. It's snow. Oh, it's been a long time. We haven't found any more good bulls. We just got that one that's way over on that other side. He's too far. Plus, too dangerous to get up there to get him. The sun's going down. I'm going to go and get the other two, and then we might start just hunting our way back down to camp. Looking at all those gullies on the way down, and hopefully, a big bull there somewhere. There's still a chance, so. We've got a bit of light left. Let's hope we can find a bull in one of these last gullies. You got family? Nannies. Yeah. The last are all popping up. It's about the same, man. Nannies and young bull. Oh, should we just keep going down? Hopefully, we might see something on the way back. Morning guys. Good morning. Morning Catherine. It's a bit colder this morning. Hey. It smells like I've been living in it. <laughs> yeah. Is there enough in there for me? Yeah. Oh, very good. <sighs> Just been making my way up the ridge. Just me this morning. We've got weather moving in. So Scott's going to come pick us up a bit later today. Catherine's going to stay back at camp and pack up camp. And Joe, Joe F was a bit slow out of bed. I think he's a bit sore from yesterday. Me and you guys are just gonna head off and hopefully we can find our bull for the trip. First, we're gonna look over this ridge here into a new valley that we haven't really hunted yet. We'll get to that point there. I'll drop the back here. a three-year-old bull he walked around that face right there and he just dropped down into the scrub so i'm gonna get the rifle off and i'm gonna sit here for a while and just see with any luck there's some more animals down in that gut with any luck there's another bull there some tar moving through the scrub down here but i just can't quite see i can't quite see well enough down in there i think i might pack up the gear and head up around there and try and get a better view Got a helicopter over here, culling tar. You can just hear gunshots. Hear it? They're probably gonna come over here too. 15 gunshots, 20 gunshots. Not what you wanna hear when you're tar hunting. 
I made it. I dropped my bag here. Have a peek over this edge. It looks real nice down there, but from those gunshots from that helicopter that's culling over the valley, if there's any tar out in here, they would just be running for cover. So mixed feelings about this. Cloud's getting a bit lower, no tar down in here. One of everything's gone to scrub from the helicopter shooting across the valley. I would have thought I would have seen at least something down in here. It's not looking good for this trip, unfortunately guys. Here comes that helicopter again. We'll have to carry on for a big bull tar skin on the next adventure. Oh, we're just all packed up guys. We can hear Scott coming in now, so we just gotta wait for him. See that cloud's coming in, so. Probably good time and before I started heading back to camp this morning I messaged him and said might pay to come get us that clouds moving and the weather's starting to turn. He'll land over here somewhere and then yeah in no time at all we'll be back at it again so stay tuned for part two.